Hey guys! So today you and I are going to talk about front-end and juniors and being ready. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, Frederick, I am self-teaching myself front-end development and I'm wondering when I know if I'm ready to start applying for a front-end position as a junior developer. And the short answer is you need to know the bare-bone basics of how things work and how you mostly work in front end. Let me explain. So what I'm, that might be a very obvious answer to quite a few of you maybe, but uh, it's, it's kind of, it, honestly, in front end, it can be a little bit tricky. Well, actually in general, in software development, it might be a little bit tricky to know what the bare bone basics are. Now I will give you just a few of them that I know is required more or less for daily, like just the daily job when you're working in front end. And I, then I want us to remember something, and that is that this may vary a little bit depending on where you work. I think that a few of these things should be fairly universal, but you, you have to, we have to understand that thing where depending where you work, like which region and so forth, you might have different requirements on you. And that's so that's what it, what makes it so tricky sometimes to understand what requ is required in order to be a software developer just in general. Technology is, is, is a range of things. Technology is varied. Every IT company has different requirements. Some of the stuff is going to be completely the same and some of the stuff is going to be a little bit different. So just because you know these things doesn't mean that you're necessarily ready to get every job, but it should be the foundation that you build most of your skills on. So the first thing is that you need to understand the basics. And what I mean by the basics is HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. These things are core. These are the core three things that every single front-end developer needs to have a good understanding of. I would say that these things that you need to master pretty much in the sense that you need to understand how they all work and you should feel fairly comfortable using these three three things. On top of that, it is all today, it's not always the case because there are still companies out there who are not using something like Angular, React and Vue and so forth. So because th this is the thing, um, some people may think that it's all about the SBAs today and they are very popular, but there are still quite a few companies out there who are using just vanilla JavaScript or jQuery or some other system of representing information on a page because that's basically what you do right so you still still you i think that you sh should still consider one of these sbas as a foundation where you pick one usually the hierarchy goes that react and angular are fair right now at least it might change react and angular are fairly like mainstream and view is mainstream as well but there are a few like it's uh, it's it's almost as well adopted but not as well adopted but there are quite a few jobs for you as well so like honestly it doesn't really matter so much which one you're you're picking here it can just be something you look up in your region that, I, that is the sort of thing i would look up in your region if you don't have a preference yourself if you do have a preference just go for it because most of these uh, sbas will have job offers on market so apart from that one thing that you should also learn is as an example responsive design that is a must i would say this it's really rare that you would work on an application that is not responsive and we have a term that we call mobile first which is a trend well it's not a trend well it is a trend let's call it a trend but it's it's something that is also very expected of you that you have an understanding of how to basically take a design from a mobile screen up to a tablet up to a desktop and so forth because you can't design your entire web page without having a consideration for these sorts of things unless as i said you're working on a site that for some that for some reason isn't actually responsive but i will say that that is very rare usually now most applications are expected to work on a mobile screen, at least. So apart from that, these are the core front-end related things. And now this is the thing where I get so much pushback and I don't, I just don't know why. The, there is one more thing to this, I would say, and that is that I highly encourage you to have a basic understanding 
of how the server works. Now you don't have to be a master, you don't have to take a boot camp or like some long course in how to do .NET development or Java or something like that. It's fine to learn how to use some um, Node.js is a good is a good candidate if you're you if you're interested in being a front-end developer. Because the thing is, guys, if you don't know how the internet works, if you don't know how HTTP works, if you don't know how a, like what a, how a web doc, like an HTML document gets to the browser, you will like it's um, maybe there is some way for you to survive without having at least a basic understanding of this. But, but guys, when you're going to use Ajax or like you, uh, fetch information from an API of some sort in front of like these are cornerstone technologies, like knowing how HTTP works and knowing how, how a server gets information to the client. Th that is that is foundation knowledge for for how the web works. And sure, you may be able to find a job where they are not going to care if you know what an API, how an API works or how a server works. But I really don't think you should go that route because it's uh, it is by quite a lot of people and most of the industry considered to be core knowledge. It's very similar to stating that you are a professional programmer and not knowing how to work with something like oh, object-oriented program and not even know the basics of it. It's so common and so established that it might be that some companies don't really care about it. It might be that you, like, you are forgiven if you don't know it, but it's it, uh, you should have this sort of knowledge, I, I will say. I, I, I'm just going to put that, it, it's, trust me on this it's more likely that people expect you to know that than it is that people just are just fine with that you don't know anything about how a, like, you don't know how to serve up a web page. And that doesn't require all that much investment, guys, I promise you. It's, it's not, I mean, you can learn the basics of how something like Express or you know, Node.js and so forth, how that works in a manner of hours. You can learn it in, it's not that much of an investment. And lastly, this is a nice to have, but I think that you sh you could technically get a job, I suppose, without this, but I highly encourage you to look into this because it will make the transition into the job much smoother. And that is to learn Git, the version control system. Now there are other version control systems out there, but Git is probably the most established one and most widespread one because you're going to have to save your code somehow. You're going to, regardless of if you're front and back end and so forth, and pretty much every company uses a version control system of some sort, and Git is pretty much the most popular one these days. So what I want you to take away from this is that if you want to know when you're ready to start applying for jobs as a front end developer, number one is to learn HTML, and then you need to learn CSS, you need to learn JavaScript, you need to learn a SBA framework of some sort. It can be most, just look in your region or if you have a preference and have a check what should what would be the best bet for you. You need to learn responsive design so that you can design for a, like a, you can make a responsive design that fits on a mobile screen, on a tablet and on a desktop and so forth. And then I highly encourage you, I would say it's almost critical for you to get some basic knowledge of how to fetch data from an API and like how to serve up a web document and so forth. And these are basic, basic concepts of how the backend works. That does not make you a full stack developer. That does not make you a backend developer. It's not about you in like learning in, in somebody else's job. It's about hygiene. It's basic hygiene to know how the web works for most people in, in who does development work. And lastly, you should have a look at Git to learn a, learn a version control system because it is something that is pretty much going to be, a, be something that's part of your everyday work at almost every company. Have a great day.